Tundra, written by Kira Freed. Focus question. What are the features of the tundra biome? Cold, treeless plains. The tundra is a land of extremes. It's a place of howling winds, freezing temperatures, and vast empty plains where no trees grow. Moss and other tiny plant-like life forms hug the rocks, and snow covers the ground for part of the year. In late spring and summer, however, the tundra erupts in brilliant colors when wildflowers bloom. Most of the tundra has never been explored because of its remoteness and unique challenges. Even so, plants and animals, including humans, have developed different ways of surviving in this harsh world. Wordwise, the word tundra most likely comes from the language spoken by the Sami people of northern Scandinavia and northwestern Russia. It means elevated wasteland, marshy plain, or high-topped hill. The tundra biome. Different types of environments cover Earth's surface. These regions and the communities of plants and animals that live there are called biomes. Desert, grassland, rainforest, and ocean are examples of biomes. So is the tundra. Many factors play a part in creating Earth's biomes. Two important ones are latitude, how far a location is from the equator, and elevation, or height above sea level. Both affect how warm or cool a place is. Climate, land, and water are also important elements of biomes, as are plants and animals. The tundra biome is located in cold regions of the world. It contains flat land or gentle hills and valleys. The ground has no trees. It is bare and rocky with patchy areas of low plants and other plant-like organisms. Limited kinds of animals live there. Most of Earth's tundra is in the Arctic, which is north of the Arctic Circle. Tundra is also found in alpine settings, high up on tall mountains. About one-tenth of Earth's land is tundra, and about one-third of that is alpine tundra. Most of the tundra biome is in the northern hemisphere. In part, that's because there is much less land near the South Pole. Also, ice covers most of Antarctica, which is mainly considered a cold desert. However, some tundra plants grow in milder areas along its coasts. Climate and soil. The climate in the tundra can vary a great deal. The Arctic tundra is colder. Temperatures can be as warm as 4 degrees Celsius, about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, in summer, and as cold as minus 32 degrees Celsius, minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit, in winter. Temperatures in the alpine tundra are milder. Summers are usually 3 to 12 degrees Celsius, 37 to 54 degrees Fahrenheit, and winters are rarely colder than minus 18 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Both kinds of tundra have little precipitation, up to about 25 centimeters, 10 inches, a year. About two-thirds of the precipitation falls as rain, but snow can build up. For the most part, the Arctic tundra is less windy, but gets more precipitation than the Alpine tundra. A key feature of the Arctic tundra is a layer of permanently frozen ground called permafrost below the surface soil. The surface soil thaws every summer and freezes again every winter. The frozen ground underneath can trap water, preventing it from draining. As a result, low areas of the Arctic tundra become boggy in summer and waterlogged soil can slide down slopes. While the alpine tundra has no permafrost layer, the soil still freezes and thaws with the seasons. Surface water usually drains quickly down the steep land. Permafrost 
contains the frozen remains of dead plants and animals. These remains hold large amounts of carbon. If the permafrost stays frozen, the carbon stays trapped. However, if the permafrost thaws, carbon dioxide and methane escape into the air. These gases contribute to global warming. The permafrost in the southern Arctic is melting as a result of climate change. Tundra plants. Plant growth in the tundra is affected by many factors. These include wind, cold temperatures, permafrost, nutrient-poor surface soil, and a short growing season of 50 to 60 days. No trees grow in the Arctic tundra, in part because frozen ground prevents roots from growing deep into the soil. Only plants with shallow roots can grow there. In the alpine tundra, no trees grow because of high winds and cold temperatures. Several important adaptations allow plants to grow in the tundra. Plants and other plant-like organisms usually grow low to the ground for protection from high winds. These include algae, fungi, lichens, mosses, herbs, grasses, and dwarf shrubs. Tundra plants only grow from two to four months each year. They have adapted by completing their life cycle in a short period of time. Many produce flowers a few days after the snow starts melting, and some produce ripe seeds in only a month. Many tundra plants gather and store nutrients for several years before producing seeds. In the alpine tundra, there is less carbon dioxide gas because the air is thinner. Plants there have adapted to use carbon dioxide more efficiently during photosynthesis. The Antarctic Tundra The Antarctic Tundra is limited to parts of the Antarctic Peninsula and several islands. Algae, mosses, lichens, and two kinds of flowering plants grow there. No animals live there, although marine birds and mammals live in nearby coastal waters. Tundra Animals The limited variety of tundra plants restricts which animals can live there since fewer types of food are available. The cold temperatures and high winds are also challenges to animals. For the animals that do make the tundra their home, Physical adaptations help them survive. Musk oxen and reindeer, called caribou in North America, have a thick winter coat to keep warm. Their hooves help them walk on slippery ground and dig through snow to get food. Arctic foxes and hares have compact bodies with short ears and tails to hold in body heat. Polar bears stay warm with both fur and a thick layer of fat called blubber. Circumpolar animals Arctic tundra animals probably first appeared in Asia, migrating to Europe and later to North America. As a result, many are circumpolar, living all around the North Pole. Circumpolar mammals include polar bears, reindeer, Arctic wolves, Arctic foxes, snowshoe and Arctic hares, lemmings, and least weasels. Circumpolar birds include ptarmigan and snowy owls. Adaptations in behavior also help animals live in the tundra. Among year-round residents, grizzly bears and Arctic ground squirrels hibernate to survive the winter. Lemmings and voles two small rodents, instead store enough food to last during the coldest months. A blanket of snow helps keep their nests and tunnels warm. Some tundra animals, including reindeer and snow geese, leave during the coldest time of year. They migrate to warmer places where more food is available. In the alpine tundra, 
Many animals migrate by traveling to lower forested areas in winter. These include wildcats, some bird species, and three goat relatives, mountain sheep, chamois, and ibex. Marmots and ground squirrels hibernate in winter. Tiny rabbit relatives, called pikas, stay awake in winter and eat food they have stored until spring. People in the Tundra People have lived in the tundra for many thousands of years. At first, some of these groups were nomadic, moving with the seasons. Their livelihoods included hunting, fishing, and herding. Today, most of these people's lives have changed. Many now live in towns and villages, but still work to preserve their traditions. In recent years, modern settlements have appeared in parts of the tundra because of exploration for oil, gas, and minerals. Many people also travel to the tundra for outdoor activities, such as skiing, hiking, and wildlife viewing. People of the Tundra More than 40 groups of native peoples have a long history in the tundra. These include the Inuit of Greenland and the Canadian Arctic, the Aleut, Inupiat, and other groups in Alaska, the Innu of northern Labrador and Quebec, Canada, the Nenets of the northern Russian Arctic, the Sami of northern Scandinavia and northwestern Russia. A Place of Wonder If you visit the tundra, especially during the colder months, you might think it's a wasteland. Frozen, empty plains or barren, windy slopes stretch for miles in every direction. However, the tundra has its own unique beauty. Look closely at the tiny plants. Although they look fragile, they are strong enough to live in one of Earth's harshest places. Tundra animals, from lemmings to caribou, must also be tough to make their homes here. The wonder of this place lies in the amazing ways that plants and animals survive in this vast, frozen world. Connections Writing Write a haiku about the tundra using information in the book. Science. Research the biome in which you live, then compare and contrast it to the tundra biome using a Venn diagram.